Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video we are, we're gonna see a South Indian snacks that was thought by our grandma and it's made in five minutes. So that is Upu Urunde. So without further ado, let's, let's get started. started. So for this recipe, we're gonna need one cup of raw rice and we're gonna soak this in water for two to three hours. Okay, so right here, we already have raw rice soaked for two to three hours and we have this ready. If you don't want to use raw rice, you can also use rice flour. We're just gonna add water to this and the same thing. So we just, now we're gonna grind this into a nice good batter. Okay, so guys. this is how it's supposed to turn out like. This is how the batter consistency should be. And if you're doing with a rice flour, just add some water and make sure it's this type of consistency. Okay, so let's add some stuff in this batter. We're gonna add a pinch of pudding I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna mix that in. So. And then, and we're gonna add some pinch of salt or salt as you required. So I'm gonna add that and mix this nice and well. So I'm gonna keep this aside and add and we take our stuff. Take our stuff and this is nice and warm. It's hot. nice and hot. So to this, this we're gonna add some oil. It's nice and hot. So then we are gonna add some mustard. And I'm just gonna let this nice and roast it. So like it's gonna pop. Okay, so to this, we're gonna add some curry leaves. <clears throat> and after that's nice and roasted. Oh, to it's this, popping right now. They're gonna add some dry chili. Now you're gonna stir it really well. We're gonna add some dal. And we're gonna make this nice and golden brown. And now it's nice and golden brown. So to this, we're gonna add some coconut. So just keep stirring this for a while. Like a minute and a half. We're gonna slowly add this. We're going to slow up this batter and we're going to mix this into a nice good. So as you guys can see, this will get thicker. After you add the batter, it's going to get thicker. And we're going to put this in slow. We're going to put this into slow food. Now we're going to off this. Let this rest for a while. So let it cool down. So it's been cool now for like about two minutes now. It's so about warm. Yeah, it's warm to your feel if you touch. So now we're gonna take a little bit of Wash this your hands dough. before this. Yeah. Now we're gonna make it into a nice good ball. Your decision if you want it small or big. Okay. So guys. now we have a ball. So we created well, a multiple ball balls out of the dough. And right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna steam this for 15 minutes. So that, that will make this nice and cooked. So the tool we're using is this. So we're just gonna use Italy vessel, or you can use any vessel that you can steam. You guys can steam. So, so in this water, we're gonna add this Italy batter, and we're gonna add some oil so this thing so does not nice. stick to this. So right now we're gonna add some oil. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this inside this. And we're gonna add this upu urende. It's okay if it's overlapping and it's outside the places. So we have added those in here and we're gonna steam this for 15 to 20 minutes. And you guys see after that. Okay guys, so right here we have the upu urende in here. It's nice and steamed, so I'm just gonna open it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it smells really good. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take this out. It's been cooking for 15 minutes now. It's steamed for 15 minutes. I'm gonna place this into. Now we're gonna slowly get each one of them. Okay guys, so with this upu urende is ready. It's so delicious and it tastes even more delicious 
with coconut chutney if you don't have coconut chutney it's totally fine it will taste just good as that and it's cooked all the way through so it's nice and cooked inside as you guys can see and i love it i'm gonna taste, taste it, it. Mm. hot good super hot but this so good if you like watching this video hope you guys like it if you did please, please like, like share and subscribe, subscribe. Bye. bye guys